like oh my god don't look at me i don't even have makeup on hey guys it's me it's like oh my god are you flirting with me stop i'm only 16. just your average regular girl perfect skin or whatever i know i had short hair in my last video I've been having hair vitamins and I ate them, my eyebrows grew or whatever and so did my wig or my hair. But now it's long and luscious, just drinking that type of tea that gives you diarrhea and now I have abs or whatever. I don't even have all my makeup on, stop. Hey everybody, it's Sandra Deluxe and today we're gonna be doing a natural, no makeup, scammer type of look. Give you a fresh young look, you know. If you want to be a cougar or your crush is coming and you're just like, oh my god, I don't even wear makeup. This is the look for you. We did some natural little things just to enhance our natural selves. This look is inspired by the Buxom Divine Goddess Highlight Palette. Woo woo! It just gives you like a really nice sculpted luminous glow. No fuss, no moss. And keeps everything really nice and fresh. That's why I'm only 13. My skin is just glowing. Just kidding. This kind of blurs the skin. It doesn't take your makeup off underneath, which is another reason why I love it. So the huge thank you to Buxom for partnering with me on this video and giving me this inspo. So if you see people scamming on the gram or wherever and they're like, oh my God, I'm not wearing makeup. I'm just naturally like this. These are all the little refined tips and tricks that you can use to achieve a natural no makeup look. And just trick them. Trick them, scoop them, and love your best life. So if you want to see how to get this look, then please stay tuned. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna start with my strobe cream and peach light. This is going to help to reflect all the little pores and things on your skin to begin the scamming process. And it's just ultra moisturizing. I'm just gonna massage it in when you're doing your moisturizer too to take your time and like blend it in. It gets the circulation going in your skin and gives you a nice flush. Really work it in there, you feel me? Whenever you're doing more natural looks, it's good to like Make sure your skin is really well taken care of. Always when you're doing your skincare, make sure you apply it to your neck because like that's something that can give away age later on. A lot of people skip their neck, but it's very important. Next, I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs Youthful Glow Foundation and I'm heating it up to my body temperature so that when it applies to the skin, it doesn't move around when it does eventually heat up to your, your body temperature. And I always like to start in the center, which is where we typically need the most product, and then pull it out from there. So the center being like your T-zone pretty much, because you probably don't need a lot of coverage down by your jawline. And I'm doing this while my moisturizer is still a little bit wet so that it kind of mixes in, you know? And then you can pull the product outwards. This is like a super sheer foundation. It makes it look like you're not really wearing any. And it's pretty long wearing too. It's hard to find sheer coverage that is long wearing. Usually I mix my long wear stuff with moisturizer if I wanna pretend I'm not wearing makeup, you know? And I like that you're able to still see your skin underneath. Next I'm gonna take this Anastasia Pro Pencil Eyeshadow Base and Primer. So I'm gonna actually sculpt my brows without having anything in it right now. So I'm just gonna drag underneath right along the bottom row of hair to give them a little bit of a lift and to kind of sculpt out a shape. This will make it look like you just got them freshly done as well as give you a little bit of a lift and I'll just blend it down like that. We're gonna soften that light color. Next I'm gonna take the Anastasia Brow Duo in Caramel and an ankle brush. I'm just gonna brush my brow hairs up to see where I wanna fill them in and I'm using a shade that is quite a bit lighter than my hair color so I still wanna see my hair, usually like two or three shades lighter than your hair color just to add kind of like a backdrop shadow to the little bit of brow hairs that I have. I'll start from the bottom and kind of flick it upwards into the brow and this will just kind of lightly fill in any gaps but it still looks like wow you have eyebrows this is not so nice. Fill in a little bit on the tail because I don't really got a brow tail. Just like super light. I'm not trying to play no games today. Do a bold brow. Comb it down and I'm going to do a tiny bit on the top just to give it a little bit more shape. Anywhere that it's kind of like missing hair. And then give it a brush upwards. Same thing on this side. And if you have any scars in your brows like me, just go ahead full force and like tap the powder into it. Now that they're filled in, I'm just going to take my finger and somewhat get rid of that line we did earlier, just blending it so you can't see a line, but your brows still look lifted. 
And then to hold them in place, I'm gonna use the Hourglass Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. And this is in soft brunette, so again, a little lighter than my brow color, because if I go in with my actual hair color, which is black, it'll make the black hairs look more prominent, and my eyebrows are pretty fine, so it'll just make me look I have thicker, shorter, more cray cray eyebrows. This'll just help to blend more natural. Brushing them upwards. The little fibers in this will make your brows appear thicker. Now once your brows are done, you can take a little, if you want, the tiniest little bit of brow gel in your normal brow gel color or in a color that's similar to your hair. And I'm just working to like really, really flatten that brush so it's very thin. And anywhere that might need just like a smidge of help, like right here, I'm just gonna do very lightly some little hairs like just like four and I'm doing this after everything is complete because you want to see how well you can do without this step first and if you do this step first and you do the powder and all that stuff last your eyebrows will look more unnatural there we go I didn't even film my brows today what are you talking about really a small amount of product and I'm using the dip down fluid line by Mac and a 263 brush which is synthetic so it's easy to kind of mold into that fine shape to give a little hair like stroke. Going right through my scar and just a little extra brow hair help. And this step isn't really necessary, I'm just doing it because I have <laughs> no brows. Next I'm gonna take the Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek in Perk and I'm gonna put that all over my cheeks and just kind of tap it in. And if you have any like skin imperfections, just leave them until the very end if it really bothers you. Like that was one thing when I worked at a makeup counter, there'd be people who had stuff they would try to really cover, pigmentation or something. Try and do your regular foundation things first and then whatever your foundation can't cover, you can go in and color correct or see if it's even worth putting more stuff on it and then look, I think, worse if you're putting a ton of product over it. It can look cakey or start to fade throughout the day and look much like just go on like it's not even there and then do subtle corrections later on next I'm going to take the buxom hot escape bronzer in mild eyes and I'm going to do super like subtle subtle contouring so I'm going to use my morphe r8 brush tiny bit of product right on the sides of the nose just so we have some shape and I'm going to do a little underneath too so you can't even tell I'm contoured, but it just gives my nose a little bit more. And I know we haven't put on concealer, but I think I'm gonna let my natural, kind of darker color under there stay. Next, I got this brush in a Morphe set. I'm gonna take a small brush and the same bronzer. And instead of doing my large, big swipes like I normally do, I'm just gonna go right underneath my cheekbone there and do a soft contour. Just so I look like, oh, your face is so snatched. But I'm doing such a sheer amount that I'm going to get the shadow. It'll make me look like, wow, high cheekbones. And I'm using like so little product, like there's barely anything on my brush. You can kind of feel where your upper teeth are and your lower jawline is. You kind of want to hug right up to where your teeth are almost. And it's just kind of in this small area here. So not back here, not out here. Just to lift your cheekbones a little bit. Then you can take a little bit and go along your drawing. See what that double chin is? Looks like a sideways butt. Then that'll give you a nice little snatch drawline. Next, with the same bronzer and another blending brush from that same Morphe set, I'm going to do a little bit of contouring right underneath my brow. And this just gives your eyes like a less flat appearance. And I'm just being, again, super light handed with it. Open here for a little bit of shadowing. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of that bronzer again and go right underneath my lower lash line, which is going to help to draw the eyes open. I'll push, just like how we pushed into the cheekbone, I'm gonna push this right into my crease. See it sinking in there? And I'm just doing a very light bronzing. And we're not doing little swipes like that we're pulling it all the way out because I'm using so little and we're starting where we want the most product once you've got it on there just blend it out into the oblivion next I'm gonna get into the superstar of the show that inspired this whole natural beat buxom divine goddess highlight palette so these are beautiful creams in three shades Venus Luna and Athena 
the beautiful Canadian queen, Shane Mitchell, actually helped to name these colors, and I think it's Gorge. So I love that these are cream. They're super finger friendly. I've actually tried it on with a full face of makeup, and it doesn't take your makeup off underneath, which I really like. But because my skin looked bomb with this on, I'm like, let me try and scam with a little no makeup look. Okay, we're gonna get into this palette, and I'm gonna start with Athena, the darkest shade, and a finger. And I'm going to kind of push that up from where we did our bronzer and our blush and I'm gonna blend that in so I get a little bit more warmth well look at that like this is why I'm leaving I know I have like a mark there but I'm leaving it until the very end because I just want to see how everything gets covered but it just kind of blurs the skin underneath I'm all about that glow baby a little bit of bronze time same thing I'm gonna do on the forehead so that when we move we just look hella glowy above the brow do the same on this side from where we did our bronzer and just pulling it up so the two kind of mix into each other Athena again and I'm gonna push that into the crease lightly over top of the bronzer we did and even though this is a cream it's kind of like setting our powder and the cream is gonna work to kind of move with your skin next I'm gonna take Luna this middle shade here and I'm gonna tap that right down the center of my nose give it a nice blend right above the top lip and right on the tops of the cheekbones blending that into the Athena color we did earlier I'm gonna take a little bit of Venus the lightest shade and I'm gonna put that right in the center of my eyelid and then buff it out I'll also take a little bit and put it right in the inner corners I'm taking Venus again and I'm just going to put that right on the very highest points of my cheekbone. So right here and let that mix in so it just adds like hella extra dimension. Okay, we're doing. Then I'm going to take the MAC Dark Mineralized Skin Finish to lightly set everything. It's a mineralized powder so it has like a little bit of reflecting bits but I'm just using a tiny bit lightly dusting in the areas I might not want to be so dewy so just right here and I'm only doing the smallest amount not baking or anything because I still want my skin to look like skin go around the nose because I don't want to take away from the beautiful highlight I'm just setting so I don't look sweaty I just look dewy next I'm gonna add some individual lashes these are the benefit they're real full slashes they come in small, medium, large, just like the rest of all individual last sets. And I'm going to take a little bit of the longest ones. And I'm going to stick that almost at the end of my eyes on my lashes. Just push it in. And I'm just going to put a couple of those really long ones there. One a little bit closer to the center. You got to make sure they're facing the right way. And I think I'll stick one more closer to the edge of my lash line here. Then I'm going to go in with the medium size and put that in the center of my lid. Like this is, this is pretty extra for a no makeup look, but it does the trick. And I'm going to fill this little gap in here too. I'm going to go ahead and do that on the other side. Which is always nerve wracking because I'm like, you better match. And to put the glue in, I just put a little blob of glue down on my desk and I'm dipping the false lashes in it. Now I'm going to use the very tiniest little bit of the Buxom Lash Mascara. But this is nice because it has those combs so it'll let your lashes be great without doing the most. But if you do want to do the most, you can get long defined lashes. I'm barely touching them, but I like that this mascara is not chunky so I can get away with just touching it. It won't get all clumpy. Nice and defined and fanned out. All the good stuff. Next, I'm going to take this CoverGirl liquid liner. We're going to do a couple fake frecks because I do have some naturally, but not exactly where I want them. So I'm going to do a couple on my nose just to be cute. And then while it's still wet, I'm going to press it in with my finger and that's going to help to carry out more of the freckles to make it look more natural and with this I would probably do like maybe five of them and then press it so it doesn't dry before you get a chance and we're not doing like an obvious freckling because this is like pretty thick it's a brown liquid liner but just pressing it makes it look a little bit more like skin and helps to put more freckles on do a tiny bit on our skin here too 
And make sure when you're blending, you're pressing and not smudging, because then you'll have little brown streaks on your face. Okay, now there's a little like red mark there that's driving me a little crazy. So I'm gonna take the tiniest little bit of concealer, this is the Huda Beauty, and I'm gonna almost rub it off of my finger and just give it a couple taps. And then I'm gonna blend it in like we did the freckles. But I do have a freckle there, plus like, I was trying to squeeze at my face yesterday, so it's all red. But yeah. That helped. Same thing if you have a blemish. Like, I have a little bit of a blemish right here, but I'm not even gonna correct it because it's not right in the highest point of my face, you know? For lips, so I'm gonna use a pillow pout in Soft Whisper. It's nice when you're trying to do natural things and instead of overdrawing your lips or something, using something that's plumping instead. That'll make your lips bigger anyways. And I'm just gonna put a little tiny bit of this in the center of my lips and fill my cupid's bow. And I'm just gonna do the outer parts of my lips because they seem to get like a kind of ashy color and then this is one of my faves this is the buxom power plump lip balm and it tints your lips a little bit pink but it's very moisturizing gives a little tingle and it looks natural all right all right <clears throat> wow puberty I'm only 19 I'm only 16 years old all right so that completes our look I'm not even wearing makeup like oh my gosh Thank you so much to Buxom for partnering with me on this video. Super stoked about this. Love and the glow. We did it. I hope you enjoyed this natural, no makeup scammer type of look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to share, subscribe, follow, love yourself, stay pretty, and I'll see you guys again in the next video. Take care.